It is a fried chicken sandwich, but I call it a fried chicken BLT, but still it's so much more than that. So I'm making the breading assembly line and I've got flour, salt, pepper, and I'm gonna add some onion powder and garlic powder. And I added quite a bit of salt because I want that chicken to have really great flavor. And then to give the breading a little bit of a lighter texture, I'm adding some cornstarch. And I will stir this together until it is totally mixed. I want all the cornstarch to be mixed in with the flour. And I'm gonna go ahead and get the chicken in to fry. They're chicken breasts, just boneless, skinless, and I'll give it a good dredge in the dry mixture first and then shake off the excess. And then I'm putting it into a dish with nothing but beaten egg. So turn it over, let the excess drip off, and then back into the flour mixture. And you really want to get it really thickly breaded because that's part of what is so good about the smoky oaky is just that thick, crispy breading. All right, this looks good. So it goes into a pan of hot peanut oil. It's on about 375 degrees. So now I'm gonna bread the second piece of chicken, get it into fry, clear up, and I'll see you on the other side. So it's into the flour, the egg, and back into the flour, and then into the pan. In about three minutes, they're crispy and ready to turn, and three more minutes on the second side, and they're done. The chicken is fried, all the elements are ready, so I'm gonna build a smoky oaky. I have a brioche bun that has been toasted with some butter, it's nice and crisp. And I have some store-bought garlic aioli, garlic mayonnaise. The garlic flavor of the aioli really, really adds something special to the smoky oaky. So on top of the aioli, I'll add a piece of chicken, <laughs> and this is unapologetically big. You don't want to trim it neatly so it fits just right. You want it to kind of be sticking out the sides. So now another thing that makes a smoky oaky a smoky oaky is this maple chipotle glaze. It's really easy to throw together. Let me tell you how to make it. Chipotle maple glaze is the best. I just put two tablespoons of adobo sauce from a can of chipotles in a pot with two tablespoons of maple syrup a tablespoon of brown sugar, and a tablespoon of low sodium soy sauce. I mixed everything together and simmered the sauce for five minutes for the sugar to dissolve. And it's absolutely amazing drizzled over the fried chicken. So then on top of the glazed chicken, I'll add a couple of slices of tomato. And then we like to use shredded romaine lettuce. It just adds kind of a little crispy lightness to the top of the sandwich. So last but not least, two slices of thick cut cooked bacon. <laughs> just kind of crisscross it. And then the top half of the brioche bun goes on. So I'll transfer this over. And we just serve our smoky okies with house-made fried chips but any kind of chip or potato is just fine. Smoky Oaky, one of the hundreds of things I love about the Merck and Oklahoma for that matter. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, mm -mm. for once in our lives, the Smith sisters are speechless. <laughs> <laughs>